Uh, one, one thing which I've learned working together with Mark on this project and several others is that he likes to keep things short. Uh, the phrase one and done creeps into most meetings at a certain point, and we sort of have to get to some point. But I, I want to say two things about Mark uh, that have to do with his extraordinary abilities and his attributes. The first is he knows how to take things apart. He's one of the most incisive thinkers, quick learners. I think we've all been at the table with Mark and have marveled at how some piece of BS that we thought was going to slip by didn't. He pinned the point right at its weakest in order to make something better. And uh, that ability of somebody who was not trained as a structural engineer or as a foundations expert or as a zoning lawyer, the polymathic quality of his mind, which is something that does apply to these kinds of skyscrapers, these huge buildings of which Carroll's Museum makes a subject. They're so complex because they involve so many different disciplines. And Mark has managed to take all these disciplines apart and put them back together. So the second, the second attribute, which I, I think we all appreciate about Mark, is precisely his ability to put things back together. It's a constructive sense. It's always a kindness with which he approaches the groups of people with whom he works, whether it's his own team at SL Green, everybody who works with Mark is treated as a peer. And we can't say that about everybody in our industry. The way we treat each other is not always with such uh, kindness, politeness, and, and more important, respect. Uh, so putting together his team, or here today, a number of them, uh, Rob Schiffer, uh, Ed Pikinich, uh, Isaac Zion, and, and, and others, uh, they are a team of peers. If I were to draw a organizational diagram, it wouldn't be a pyramid. It would be uh, more like the way a soccer team works, for those of you who are watching the World Cup. And uh, so the, the last couple things about putting things together, uh, Mark has also has put together a, a remarkable project here as perhaps uh, one of the largest major first building projects that anybody has built in the, since, I don't know, the pharaohs. Did the pharaoh build a, a, a first pyramid? Maybe. Um, but, but no, to look at how guts, how many, uh, 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 how much guts it took to put together all of these gusset plates and beams and elements of steel that we go up, that are going right now. But finally, uh, putting things together, Mark is uh, thinking all the time about putting together a neighborhood and not just the neighborhood in which his properties find themselves in East Midtown but putting together a city, working together with community groups, with Landmarks Commission, with uh, the city who is represented here well tonight, with everybody in a consensual way, so that in the end we can all feel that we've done something that benefits not just these tenants, but the plaza outside, the tracks below, the neighborhood, and the skyline. And ultimately, Mark has shown a sense of deep and true responsibility for all the things that we share. So I will hand this now over to Alicia Klen, our great deputy mayor, and then later on, we'll post.